Hey, it's Grant, you're watching I'm Sensei, and welcome to the dojo. Today we're going to be talking about give and take. So before we talk about that, I'm going to ask you a question. What was the hardest thing you've ever been through? What was the time when you were pushed to your very limits, emotionally, physically, mentally? What was the hardest time in your life? In that moment, do you feel as though you were being taken away from? Do you feel like someone was taking something from you, or life was taking something from you? Generally, that's how most people feel. So if you say yes, I'm not surprised. Now, when you're taken from, what many people don't know, and what many people can't see, is that no one can take without giving. With every take, there is give. Never take or give. So, a huge example of this is the life of Nelson Mandela. He was a huge, huge, huge contributor to the abolition of apartheid in South Africa. And so, basically, throughout his life, his early 20s and beyond, he was fighting for equality for people who were not white, for people who were not white in South Africa. Every, everything in the government was controlled by the white people. And the difference between the lives of someone who was not white versus someone who was was immensely different and it was immensely unfair. And so all Nelson Mandela was doing was fighting. All he was doing was fighting to give these people a fair life, equality, a life worth living. So as he gave the government, the white people, the people with all the power during apartheid did not like that. They hated it so much that when they found out that he was trying to fight against them, they put him in a jail for 26 years. I want you to stop for a minute. 26 years. Think about that. It's hard to wrap your head around. Think about how old you are. Think about your whole life. Is it even 26 years? Is it anywhere close? Is it half of your life? He rotted and sat in a prison for 26 years for trying to do what was right. To give back. Once he got out, most people would think that he would quit. Not Nelson Mandela. Because when he sat in that prison, he was given something that was worth so much more than anything he could have ever gotten without that experience. He got unbeatable drive, immense gratification, immense gratitude, an enormous amount of appreciation for all things he had in life. When he got out, he was so persistent in his quest to free these people from apartheid that he ended up doing amazing things. Some of the most amazing things ever done by a single individual. And he did that all because of his 26 years. What did he do? He became the first black president of South Africa. The first ever. This was in a time where things still were not okay. Things were not okay. He helped abolish apartheid. Abolish it. No more. And so, because of that, he won something like 250 awards. And of those 250 awards, one was the Nobel Peace Prize, and the other 
the Gandhi Award. That is an award that was given to him by Gandhi himself for an extreme act of kindness. Think of all those things, how huge they are, how much of an impact it had on people's lives on, and on his life. Now imagine, would he be able to do that without that hard time? Would he have been able to liberate millions without that hard time? Sure, the government took that 26 years away from him. But, if we talk to Nelson Mandela today, my guess is that although he hated that time taken away from him, he would say it was absolutely worth it to free all of those people. To free them all. Because of that 26 years. And I know what you might be thinking. I'm not Nelson, Nelson Mandela. I wasn't in a jail for 26 years. And honestly, I don't think I'm being given anything. Because I can't see it. You know what, I've been there, and I understand that. Maybe your hardship is now. Maybe your hardship was way back when you were younger, maybe preteen. But you know what? You were given something. You just gotta look a little closer. And I wouldn't be telling you this if it didn't relate to my life. This idea that when someone takes something away from you, you're being given to tenfold, help me through so much. I'll give you the example. When I was younger, I moved around five different states. Ohio, Kentucky, Louisiana, North Carolina, and Indiana. And so I went to all those states in no particular order. And I had a good time in most of them. Family, friends, whole nine yards new experiences, but I landed in one state in particular, North Carolina. In North Carolina, I ran into my struggle, my first struggle in my life. It was in middle school, I was young, I moved into a new place, 300 kids per grade. And of those 300 kids, I was one of the kids who got bullied. I got picked on, I got pushed around, talked about, laughed at, cast out, uninvited, told I was dumb, stupid, worthless. Don't talk to me, go die in a hole. All these things every day, over and over and over again. Sometimes you feel like the world is Crushing you, crushing you, you're just trying to hold it up. Just trying to figure out how to hold it up. And you know what? In those times when you're just, you're just struggling, you're crumbling, you get stronger, you get stronger, and you lift it, and you throw it away. You know, I was down. I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be here. Things were rough. Oftentimes I was confused and didn't know what to do. But you know what? I wouldn't trade that moment for anything. Compared to others, my struggle was not that bad. I wasn't happy for three years out of my life. Just three compared to 26 of Nelson Mandela's and probably a struggle that you're going through that might be much worse. But in that struggle, I found so many gifts. A sense of gratitude, a sense of appreciation, and a immense amount of empathy and compassion. I cannot stand to see someone suffer. I stand up for more people now than I ever have in my life. I value the small things now more than I ever have in my life. I have an appreciation for the simplest things.
the simplest things that I would never have if I didn't go through that three years. And my drive, my drive to push through challenges, my drive to fight through is, it's, it's so immense. I value that so much. And at this point in my life, I almost thank the people who picked on me. I thank them. I wouldn't be who I am today without them. I couldn't imagine that. So back to the gifts that it gave me. That gratitude. Coming home and seeing my mom and saying, Hey, how was your day? She smiles. I give her a hug. That is worth more than anything I could ever buy. And that feeling, that loving, caring feeling, it's so much greater than if I had never gone through that. I had never gone through that, maybe I wouldn't appreciate it as much. Maybe I wouldn't appreciate small things like puns and crazy socks and simple jokes and a simple handshake in the hallway, or one friend. I wouldn't be that person. I wouldn't trade that for the world. Now I want you to think, what did your struggle, or what is your struggle right now giving to you? Because we have a choice. We have a choice to see what's around us. We have a choice to see give or take your choice. It's like some of the laws in nature. A great example is matter. Matter cannot be created nor destroyed. And as we manipulate this matter, those laws always flow. They always happen. There's no exception. Same thing goes for giving or taking. You cannot have one or the other. It's always and. So what is it for you? What's your choice? Do you choose to see take? Or do you choose to see give? Alright, I've been Grant. I hope this helped you. If not, I hope it entertained you. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. I've been Grant, and peace from the dojo.